I love a risotto and it's the perfect dish to kill some time while we're in lockdown because it requires you to be at the stove with it all the time. So, for this recipe you'll be needing arborio rice. Arborio really is the only rice you can use for risotto, but it's available in all supermarkets. Some pumpkin, onions, garlic, butter, parmesan cheese, cumin seeds, and a glass of white wine. If like me you've not got any white wine, then use some dry vermouth. Oh, and don't forget some chicken stock or vegetable stock. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Deseed your pumpkin and slice, leaving the skins on. Transfer to a baking tray and drizzle on some olive oil and season with salt and pepper. Place in your oven for around about 40 minutes or until it's soft enough to press down lightly with a fork. Remove the skin, add some chicken stock and blend to a smooth puree. In a pan, fry your onions, garlic and cumin seeds in oil and butter. The oil will stop the butter from burning. The addition of cumin seeds to the recipe is completely optional, but I think it really adds a nice flavour and pairs beautifully well with the pumpkin. Once your onions have softened, add in the rice and cook for a further 5 minutes. This is really important to ensure that the rice will soften before we add the liquid. Add your glass of wine or vermouth and evaporate the alcohol. Now we add our stock, a couple of ladles at a time, to the rice and stir. When the rice has absorbed all the liquid, repeat the same steps again. Stock to the rice and stir. Stock, rice, stir. Until the rice is cooked and the risotto is beautiful and creamy. Stir in the pumpkin puree and some grated parmesan cheese. And there we have it deliciously indulgent pumpkin risotto. And if you want to get fancy, serve with some sautéed pumpkin and a parmesan crisp. E bon appetito.